Hello. I am going to solve the first week of HTML CSS homework and try to give you, well, if not the perfect, but at least a, a solution of how a working developer would solve it. And uh, as this is my first homework hand in, um, I'm going to go through the same thing as, as you guys do. So I sort of watched this video already, not the whole thing, but, but I can really recommend you to watch it if you haven't. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to follow the instructions. I'll go to this repo and it says I should download it as a zip. So I'll do that. That's done. I'm gonna unzip it on my local computer. So I I have a folder for Hack Your Future already. Uh, you should have that too. So I go to my downloads and I'm gonna put this folder in there. So now in my Hack Your Future folder, I have this one for basically homework hand in. Uh, and this folder can be called whatever you want it to be called. I'm just going to call it homework and then right. So now I have the file on my computer. Now I can go to new and create a new repository so that will file my user. So if you're logged into GitHub, then, then this should work. I'm going to call it JYF, uh, home, HYF homework. And then, yes, I'm just going to create it. But then as Benjamin showed it in the video, I can just upload some existing files. We can choose these files. So I'll do that. So I'll choose all of these files that that are here. Um, no, I can't. Okay. Oh, so I guess I can open this folder. Ah, uh, okay, it's just, okay, I think it's easier if, if we just select all of these and drag it in there instead. And I know most of you are using Windows, but I hope it's going to help anyway. So I'm just going to call it initial commit. That's like a standard thing to do on your first commit. I actually didn't watch the whole video uh, that Benjamin made, so I can't, I'm not sure if it's the same thing that he did. Okay, so this is processing my files. I'll look at the description that it says. Oh yeah, cool. So he did the same thing. Now we have created the structure. So I guess that we can now upload files. Yeah, and then we do that at the end. Yeah, perfect. We can just commit to the master branch. That's, that's great. All right. So I guess what I'm going to do now is this HTML CSS week one, I'm going to uh, create some files in here, but maybe I will actually start by opening Visual Studio Code and opening a folder in here. It's much better to open a folder than just files because then you will have the folder structure here. So I'll navigate to homework hand in HTML CSS week one. 
and we'll open this folder. Great, so now I can see all the files that I have in that folder and I, I have the possibility to create new files and new folders. So I'll create a file. I'm gonna call it index.html. That's a pretty standard name for, for your main HTML file. And uh, the main CSS file is, is normally called something like style CSS or main CSS or index CSS, I, I can't remember, yeah. I'll just do something like this. And then I guess we need like the HTML skeleton. So as as um, I can't really remember it all, I'm just gonna cheat and use the Emmet abbreviation. So this will, this line here is the, the doc type. So which version of HTML we're using and this is basically the wrapper for for the whole HTML content. This part, the head, is is some information about your website that you that is mostly invisible. Well, actually, this part is kind of visible. So I'm gonna call this. Actually, I'm gonna call this CV and Wonder Woman because I'm going to be creating a CV for. Wonder Woman today. So this title is the title that you that you see like on the on your tabs when they are open. So that's that part is actually visible. But so basically the the part that is visible on your website well, besides the title is whatever is inside the body. Okay. So what we are missing right now here is is uh, linking to our CSS file. So here I'm just just to what I normally do to make sure that my CSS file is linked up correctly to my HTML file is is just uh, do a basically a, a background red on something because that is very visible. So I'm now just going to do it on my only existing uh, HTML element, which is the body in this case. So I have the body, and if I correctly link to my HTML file and then no sorry if I correctly link to my CSS file and then I open the HTML file in my browser then I should see uh, the back black or the red background so to show you that the CSS file is not linked up right now is I'm gonna do the following I'm gonna open this HTML file in my browser over here. So you can see, I can't see anything. Uh, to prove that this is the right HTML file, I'm going to just do a, a heading with a hello world. That's also a standard thing, I guess, something you test. So you can see that I, I have opened this file, this is the correct file, and it actually works. So um, now I'm going to link up the CSS file to it, this style CSS. So what I do there is I create this uh, link tag. And what I'm doing here, by the way, uh, the way the reason why it's going so fast is because I'm using Emmet. Uh, Emmet is something inbuilt to Visual Studio Code, so all of you can use it. Uh, Without having to install any extensions, it's it's probably a bet, better practice to write everything yourselves. Uh, but this will basically, if I click on tab right now or click with my mouse, then it's it's going to create this whole link tag for me. And all I need to do is, is link to the correct file, and I can change this style sheet to something else. Uh, I pretty sure. Yeah, uh, so if I click on control and space, then it's going to show me some options that, that can be really useful if if I can't remember uh, what it is that I want. And most of the time I probably can't because I don't do this that much. And the same way as with the, the style sheet suggestions, I can click on control space here. And then it's actually going to show me all the files that exist 
in the folder that is open right now. And that's perfect because I need the style CSS here. So I'll just save and then refresh here. And now my website has gotten this beautiful back, uh, red brick background. So now my HTML file is open, the CSS file is linked up, so we can get started with the actual assignment. All right, so we need one page, two files, we got that. Uh, we need some contact info, a picture, a few lines about me, work experience, education, and we need an H1, H2, a list with Sure. We need some margin and padding. Okay. Well, as I am a developer, and this is not my first website, even CV website, um, I have been a little more ambitious and Googled pretty CV on Google, and I found this one. I kind of like it. So I'm going to be aiming for this. Uh, well, not the actual information, but just the design. And I googled Wonder Woman avatar and I found this one. So I'm going to be using this photo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save image as, and then I will save it to, to our... Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Homework hand in HTML week one. And what you normally do, uh, like in in normal web development, is you would probably create a folder for this because you're gonna have multiple, probably tons of images. Um, so I'm just gonna create this folder called IMG and uh, put this image in there. Just gonna call this avatar. Great. So we got that. Um, all right, so I guess, and actually, just so you know, you don't need to do anything as this as ambitious as this one. I'm I'm just doing this because I think it's fun, and I'm not gonna include all of this data. Just just something simple. So I'll I'll start with uh, the HTML skeleton of what I need. And uh, what I need, what I have here is basically two columns. So I'm going to call this, um, I guess I'm going to call this a, a stats section and a details section. Just so you, you understand like my way of thinking. So in here, in, in the body, I'm going to create these two sections one with the stats and another one with the details. So now, and by the way, I have, I'm using prettier. If you are wondering why my indentation is so perfect whenever I click on save, and that happens when I click on save, it's because I'm, I have, I'm using this extension called prettier. Um, Google it, it's, it's really, really nice. You don't need to worry about indentation ever again if you install this. Um, cool. So now I have these two fold or two sections. Um, I'm going to just, I guess I'm just gonna color them so I can see them. And maybe put a, an H1 in here with, a, just we'll just start with the name. So name is Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. And in here, we're just gonna call there. This is probably going to be an H2. These all of these titles. So I'm going to call this about me, just so we have some stuff in here. So in my CSS file, uh, we don't need this beautiful background anymore because, uh, well, we know that the file is linked. So in here, I'm going to uh, call or yeah, select the stats 
and uh, I'm selecting it with this class selector. I don't need to write section because it's I don't have any other HTML uh, elements that that are that have this this class selector, and they and they are not going to because I I like to keep these things unique. So I have kind of used this component approach. So this this is going to be component a, a stats component and nothing else will be called stats because it's now taken by it and that that way i can keep the css specificity low which which means much less trouble for me later on um but yeah i don't need to use ids which which also messes messes up the, the specificity later on okay anyway uh, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I probably I'm going to create a main element which is going to contain everything that is oh, oh I actually don't know VS Code that much so I don't know how to move stuff up and down but what I wanted to do is move the sections inside the main so main is going to contain everything inside uh, the body <laughs> which is not the header and not the footer. So all my sections. And this way I can select the main in here. And well, the main is going to be the one that's that's gonna create this two column layout. And I'm gonna be using Flexbox for this. A very, very good Flexbox guide is uh, on CSS tricks. Look through it. Uh, you're probably not going to get it at first, but it, it takes a little practice. Uh, there are also some some games out there to practice this. Uh, I think it's called, maybe I can just write games. There's like this Flexbox Froggy and Flexbox Zombies. Uh, they are all, I've played this one and I played this one. They are really fun. I haven't played this one as far as I remember. And they 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 really yeah it is actually free. Um, they really make you practice flexbox nicely. Flexbox is is so widely used these days and it has a good um, browser support that, that you're probably gonna meet this very very soon. So you might as well get started. So if I'm if I'm going to create this two column layout then um, with flex, Flexbox, then I need to uh, specify display flex on the parent that has the columns. So now I, may, I created this uh, main, which contains the two sections, which will be become the, 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 two, the two columns. So on main, I need to specify display effects and again I'm using Emmet so I just I can use these shorthands and then I I just tab on my keyboard and it will write stuff for me which speeds up my development so much. I, I can really really recommend it for you. So let's see what happens now. Uh, the only thing I'm, I'm I have in my CSS right now is display flex on the main. So if I refresh here then you can see that uh, and actually, it probably works better if I if I give stats and details a background. So we're gonna do background red and background blue here. And you can see that now it created this two column layout. And if I comment flex out. And it's going to be displayed under each other. So this is amazing. I I only wrote one line and it created this two column layout for me. So what I need to specify now is I want this to be 100% of the width. That's probably not going to do that much. But uh, but when I say that my I want my stats to be 33% of the width and uh, well, let's just do 33, 33 and this I want 66, 66, then it's going to get this, well, sort of this layout that, that the other one has. So that's amazing. Um, what I now want is I want to 
specify that uh, the main should actually not go all the way. It should just fill out 80% of the width. And then if I, oh yeah, so if I say, if I do that, then it's gonna fill out 80%, but now it's on the left side, I want it to be centered. So all I need to do now is write margin auto, and that's going to center it for me. So that's great. Um, so margin auto, margin is, is a shorthand for margin top, right, bottom, left. So what I want to do here is I actually want it to have some top margin. And if I write two values, for this shorthand property, then this is going to be applied for for the uh, vertical, uh, so top and bottom margins, and this will be applied for the horizontal, so left and right. So this will create some spacing on the top, top and bottom, and still keep it centered. So that's 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 perfect. That's that's what I need right now. Great. So now. We are going to be testing this uh, image. I don't need the background right now. I'm probably going to add it back anyway a bit later to see oh, that it's still as big as I want it to be. I, I'm not completely sure why it's complaining right now. Oh, well, I'm just going to delete them. Great. So I'm... Um, going to add this uh, image and I do that by adding the image tag. I need to specify what source I want for my image and the same way as I did before I click on control space and it's going to show uh, all the available uh, files all, or folders in the root uh, as far as I can see. So I can see everything in my folder and I can also see those things here. So that's that's really great. So I'm just gonna choose image, and then it's going to show me what what is inside image. And right now it's just the avatar PNG, and uh, the alt is is like an alt. I think it's it probably stands for alternative text or something like that. So if it's basically used for for accessibility, so people who use screen readers will have uh, this text read up to them instead of being able to see what's on the image. So the, this should always uh, describe what uh, what what's on your image. And it, it shouldn't say logo, it should it should say like what's on it. So right now I'm I'm not gonna say avatar, I'm just I'm going to say Wonder Woman. Um yeah and that's probably not the best to write. Uh, but that's what I got. Okay, so I'm going to re-add the backgrounds just to see what's happening here. Right. So what's happening right now is uh, my image is it is too big for its container. So the container, well, if, especially if I open my uh, Google Dev Tools, the Chrome sorry Chrome Web Tools, the Dev Tools, the, the the way I do it is by clicking on Inspect. And then this is going to open up it. This is my, my DOM. This is whatever's in, in my HTML. And you can see that whenever I hover on something, it's going to select it. It's super useful. If I click on it, then it's it's also going to show me all the styles for the element. It has no styles. OK, uh, that's a bit weird. But you can see that it's in line. So it's in line, and the section has a has a width of 291 pixels, but the image has a width of 512. So that's too wide. Um, so what I need to do is, and I can actually test stuff here live without having to go back to my editor and do it there. Um, so I can say, if I say max width 100%, then it's going to, mm, no, it's not going to be wider than its parent container in this case, the section. So that's I'm going, I'm going to use that. That's that's perfect. And uh, I'm also going to give this a border a radius 
of, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to use 100 pixel, uh, percent, which will, which will make this round. So that's, uh, that's also what I want. Oh, maybe I should put this on. Do not disturb. Yeah. Uh, so that right now I've got this image, but it's still in line, which makes it difficult to add margin and padding and stuff. So I'm just going to make this display black. Uh, and you can see that that actually moved my heading. And that is because now it's it's not um, sticking to each other, uh, but but they are actually two block elements. And that's that's what I want. So I'm going to copy this code and open my editor again. I'm going to add a class to my image. I'm going to call it avatar. And I'm going to select it here and paste the code that I, I have written. And I actually follow a certain uh, property ordering when I write my CSS. I'm just going to do that for my own purposes. You can ignore that. So what I want now is I want to add a little padding to the stats container. And yeah, that's nice. That's, that's a bit nicer. So um, yeah, I can I can also add some border like it does on the um, on the example CV. So I'm just gonna say border 10 pixels solid black, fine. Uh, you can see that I don't even need to write the color black is the default. So yeah, but I'm gonna write it anyway. It's it's good to be explicit, I guess. So. Yeah, I'll keep this black for now. I'm not too happy with it, but let's keep it for now. Okay, then we need we have the title or sorry the the name. Um, what does it say? We need the contact info so we can write. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. Wonder Woman Wiki, just so we can, oh, that's in Danish, it's just so we can get a, uh, a little intro about her. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna copy this for now. So what we need is a date of birth. Isn't there like a, yeah, this, that's much better. That's what we want. Sure. So do we know when she's born? Um, okay, we can use, we can say, so we're just gonna say, I'm gonna say place of birth, birth. Contact info. Uh, I guess we can say. So can I? No, I can't. Okay. So I'm gonna create another paragraph. I'm gonna say a uh, real name, uh, Diana Prince. And I guess we're gonna say P race demigod. So if we refresh, now we got this. And I guess it this should be written a bit nicer. Uh, if I had time, I can 
I can do something really fast. So if we say, okay, if we say, I'm gonna add a span with a, actually, maybe we can just write um, strong. That's an HTML tag for styling stuff. What's happening? Earth. Oops, sorry, just gonna stop this. 